In this video, we're checking out the ranked racing in F1 2020. Does it work? Does it work well? Let's find out. Here we are in a ranked session. I literally just clicked ranked race and it's put us in a session at Spain. We've got the one shot qualifying. It is a uh, five lap race. So uh, it's going to be a sprint race after the one shot quali. Um, seems to be working. We've got players to race against. Of course, because this is a brand new account on uh, F1 2020, I have no rank, so it's literally put us in a as low a rank as possible. But everyone else seems to have no rank as well, so that component seems to be working at least. Uh, and I'm, I'm really interested to see if it's actually, uh, you know, how well it operates. Will the driving be better than the non-ranked racing mode? Um, probably, probably not, I wouldn't have thought initially, because... We don't have a rank, so it's basically the same. But you just see over time, if when you gain rank, if the uh, racing gets better. You do have stuff like the track cuts and uh, some of the more penalty system that is on by default in the ranked racing mode. Um, as far as I can gather, though, the ranked racing mode in F1 2020 is basically the same as it, as it is in F1 2019. In that it's effectively like a... It's basically a hosted session but people can only join or get put into a session if they have a rank within a certain range. And I, to be honest, I also think that the ranks are more based on time spent playing the game rather than like an ELO rank. So it, it doesn't really work like um, CSGO, for example, where you can go up and down rank very easily if you lose against better players. Um, but we'll see. As we finish qualifying there, 121. I think we could go a lot faster, but we could also go a lot slower. Now, you'll notice in the cockpit, um, I'm using... Uh, I've got auto ERS, so I'm not having to push the ERS button. I've been super lazy. No, it was a terrible qualifying. We're in eighth. <laughs> oh, well. Well, see how we're doing the race. I'm using ERS, so I don't have to worry about that whilst driving. And uh, DRS, uh, I still have to push. So... Uh, Let's see how this goes. Starting in eighth, all the rest didn't qualify. We're halfway up the grid. This will be an interesting, <laughs> an interesting show of uh, net code collisions and uh, the, the ranking if people actually try and drive safer. It's weird how when you finish quality, it has to reload the session again. It's quite bizarre, but that's just how it works. I guess it clears it out. Uh, Spain is a track, though. Uh, it's a track I like. Uh, nice and simple. Nice flowing corners. The last bit, they should always... I don't know why F1 uses the windy end of it and it doesn't use the uh, the sweeping right-hander that they use in MotoGP. I don't know why that happened. Um, T1 at Spain is always a disaster. So, uh, glue your nipples together for T1 here. This is going to be mental. Right. Cars are lined up. We've got a reasonably good-sized grid. What's this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. Oh, 15 cars, unless I miscounted, which I probably did. Crowd going wild. No Mexican waves here. Spanish wave. Got some Brazilian flags. Got some Union Jacks. Spanish flags. Here we go. Cars already set on overtake. We're using the medium downforce setting as well. Right, here we go. <laughs> go lights out and away we go we've got a reasonably good launch there Quokka de Maia, blitzer in front of us Mark Zaldi mob died in front bit tit for tat he's on the grass he's not going to make it the break zone I'm going to get rear-ended surely no nope. oh my god oh my god we survived T1 oh <laughs> almost lost it on the throttle there had to balance it a bit nice uh, you do get a lot of forgiving throttle with uh F1 2020, you can pull it back, you can give it too much throttle and play with it a little bit. It's probably the best aspect of F1 2020 handling, actually, is the, right. the amount of play you have on the throttle encourages you to overdrive a little bit. Um, here we go. Mukutuwaki in uh, fourth. Ace and King behind us, and into our bottom. Oh, he's gone in the wall! <laughs> Ice and King, or was that Blinkser? Just goes straight into the wall there. That's race over for him, probably. Uh, Isa King trying to pass us on the right there. He's a lot later on the brakes. We've got another car coming right. I, I need to brake later for that. Braking far too early. God, it's like a bloody ramp there. This is pure Dukes of Hazard. I think the uh, the track, <laughs> this Spanish version, this version of the Spanish racetrack, put it this way. 
it's not laser scanned. <laughs> it's like the scale of the tracks in F1 2020 are a little bit compacted to what I experienced in AC and I racing, which have laser scanned version of the circuits. But Shadow looks really nice as we've got the grandstand shapeness there. Lap one successfully survived. Will we survive lap two? Doubt. <laughs> Nilsson's coming up behind us. Try and modulate the throttle through the right hand is here. You want to keep on the throttle and use a little bit of counter steel. Just lift the throttle a little bit so you're holding the right line through there. Obviously, with this being an absurdly short five lap race, you don't have to worry about tyre wear or anything like that. So just give it maximum welly all the way round. Get on the power here. Holding on to fifth though. Oh, getting the speed through that. Come on. Got to lean on the tyres for a lot of these corners and uh, hope that they don't give out. To, to be honest, in F1 2020, the tyres seem to give out in a, apart from at low speed, at high speed, the tyres give out in a very, very progressive way. So you can you can uh, really sort of depend on them to hold the car. But when they do give out, you tend to slide a lot. So it takes a little bit getting used to it again if you're using those other simulators. But it's it's pretty much it's all in the forgiving direction whoa Maj Majark I can't even say his name can people have easier names Mark J Wardle <laughs> hang on let's drive in the sun I don't get any sun in real life we need to get the simulated sun there he's going for a pass up the inside look at that Nelson's all over the rear of our exhaust as he goes round the inside there he's going to hook it up he's cut the track there surely that is illegal I mean I don't know how that works will he have to give the place back up to us there <laughs> it's just Completed half the overtake off the bloody circuit. That's not legal. Come on. Whoa, he's slow through that. Almost rear-ended him. He's going to run out of track on the exit. Almost. No, he's pulling back. Oh, I think he might have just got a little bit of a telling off rather than having to give the place up. I think the penalties on this are quite forgiving, to be honest. Like, unless you uh, overtake someone massively off track with a shortcut, you don't have to give the place up. Go! <laughs> DRS, activate it. Look at that boost. Get on the brakes. 100 metres, I think, is the uh, right place to brake there. Oh, God. Dukes of Hazard ramp. Mow the lawn on the right. Try and get on the power. Push it up over the hill. Oh, God. These last... Who, who decided to put this on the track? Who, why would you do this to such a good track? Didn't happen in like... It was like 2000... 10 they did that it's probably tilt <laughs> oh click on the uh, DRS open the back suction mode hoover activate come on that's better still staying with him a bit there we go nice racing though so like, no one's done anything crazy you know for Jumping racing, but he's found the lawn. He's doing some gardening. I think the end of the race might get a bit spicy. Battle for fourth. First, second and third and bloody, they, they've gone. <laughs> it's all about fourth place, guys. That's the real battle. You're with, you're with, the, you're with the proper race there. Nelson's trying to find a way through. He's going around the right-hand side. He's cut the track too much. We both run wide there. Back on with the DRS. Mark J Wilder. Holding on, surely Nelson's going to drive into the back of him, or I'm going to drive into the back of Nelson. We're bunched up, it's like a train carriage. Whoa, I've got to get on my brakes there to not take him out. Oh, God, I've missed it. Missed the brake point. Rejoin the track there. Don't worry. Close your eyes, marshals. Don't penalise me. Whoa, too much throttle. Caught it, though. And we're off again. <laughs> this is nice battling. Surprised how well this is working out. Look at these guys side by side into the straight. DRS is mowing the line. He's got Robin Kubica style. He can't get it on the inside. This is the final lap. Come on. These guys can fight. We can take the place. There we go on the inside. Exceeded the track limits. We got away with it though. We're gonna. <laughs> that was a little bit rough. We've been poked. I'm <laughs> this is wreck fest in Formula cars. Fantastic. I think he might have to give up the place there. We're all still very close together. We've got two cars behind us. Oh, three wide, he's, we've gone through the inside, we're going to get, oh, he's hit us, he's hit us, we're sliding into the corner, get back on the track, bugger me, oh, come on, that was unlucky there, we got tapped just at 
such that we got stuck in uh, oversteer slide there. Ah, oh, we were getting right in it. Jesus. We're, <laughs> we're in seventh place. What is it with seventh place? Always seventh place, whatever it do. I mean, that was nice close racing until the... Uh, until that little shunt. We might get one more place if someone gets murdered before the finish line. Oh, unbelievable. We, we really got in there then. I mean... I don't think I did anything wrong. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you think I could have driven that better. We, you know, five lap race, you've got to get in there. I think we got punted. I don't think it was my fault. Whoa, it's walling him. Where's a bit of... Whoa, a bit of wing in the face. Well, 7th out of 13th. I have to say, guys, for, like, ludicrous jumping, rid <laughs> totally ridiculous sprint racing, uh, it, was, it was pretty good. I, I genuinely enjoyed that. Um... Car's a little bit jumpy for the net code. It's not the smoothest of net code. Um, you know, that could be a bit better for sure. Uh, we did get punted and ghosted off from that punt, but you know, it, we no one set this up. I, I literally just clicked join ranked multiplayer, and uh, for what it is, I think I, I think that's pretty good. I, that's pretty engaging. I, you know, don't get me wrong. For those of you that are sim fans, as many people on this channel are. You know, drive, if you want to drive what feels like a really good Formula car, as close as you're going to get to a Formula car in a sim rig, AC, r 2 you know, that's much better for the handling. But as a game to play, it's satisfying handling. Ranking seems to work pretty decent. We'll see how it... Until we do more rank races and actually rank it up, I won't know for sure um, if the ranking system works properly. But I'm, I'm, pre I'm pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed with that. Driver of the day... Ice King, Ice King. I don't know why we don't have like driver of the day stuff in these finishing scenes in, in more sim games, you know? Like, they don't even have to be animated. Uh, I quite like this kind of polish. Obviously, Codemasters have had 15 iterations of exactly the same game to, to get this down. Uh, but, you know, it'd be nice to see this in other games. Here we go. The rank's been increased. <laughs> We've moved up a pip. So I, th I think you just, you seem to just get pips as long as you do a race. I don't know if it's based off ELO. Um, and now there's more people have joined. No, 15 people. Have, so that's the, that's the max number of people in this session. Um, and then, so we can advance here. And I think it just continues on the same server. Some people have left and it goes into another one. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you were curious as to what rank racing is like, if you've literally just bought, or you just bought F1 2020 right now, and you never played it before, you've not got a rank or anything. Um, well, this is literally it. This is a, this, that's a rank race in F1 2020. So, let me know in the comments, guys, if you think that if that incident in that race was my fault, if I could have done better there, um, or you know, if it was their fault, my fault. <laughs> I think it was their fault. It totally wasn't my fault. But uh, thanks for watching this. Click the like button, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more of this. Until the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.